right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our ongoing playthrough of Inscription. Uh, last time, we got really, really close to beating uh, Leshy, the, you know, presumably final boss of the game. I don't actually know. And, uh, yeah, let's see if we can actually beat him this time. And I also did, uh, explore the room a little bit. Oh, we're a wizard! Explore the room a little bit at the end of that last round, but just real quick. Just to make sure... Oh! Uh, if nothing else changed. Yeah, okay, you're wondering about that painting? I've seen stuff come out of it. Rarg. But only if the cards are aligned just right. So I'm assuming that on my board I need to be playing these two cards. According to this guy, and... I feel like that's not a difficult decision. Oh, right, right, skeleton. Thief. I still don't know if this is supposed to do something or if it's just supposed to look kind of, whoop, turned myself all the way around there. If it's just supposed to look kind of cool. But regardless, let's get some cards. All right, so what do we have for ourselves? The omnipresent mole it grows and emerges to block any land or an attacker, okay. Industrious beaver, when it when played, it constructs dams adjacent to it. Okay. And corpse maggots. What are we starting with? Stunted wolf, stink bug, stoat, and a bullfrog. Okay. So, corpse maggots isn't bad for the early game. We're probably never going to get the bones to, like, play it until later on. But... It's good that it has that jump-in feature, so... Yeah, we'll take the corpse maggots. I don't think that's that bad. And we can probably put that on something else later. Uh, let's go ahead and get a totem. Also good for the early game. A decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moves with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. Okay, so we got jump in front and infinite- infinite blood! Let's go! Excellent! Take that! Without another word, the woodcarver was gone. And now squirrels will be able to block hits a little better, which is always good. Uh, time to fight! Alright. <laughs> Greetings! Hey, bud. What's he got coming out? Alpha and the sparrow. Uh, we're gonna put Stunt Wolf in front of the Alpha. <laughs> Alas, and then we're gonna take the bullfrog and put it in front of the sparrow. Nice. Alright. Oh. Ooh, right. Okay. Uh, draw from the deck. <laughs> Lucky draw. So, hmm. We'll put him in front of the sparrow because he can hit it and it won't take. It's not going to hit him, but that's fine. There we go. Yeah, that's not so bad. Um, this should be our corpse maggots. We'll just take that just to be safe. But I think we're good. Yeah, we're fine. Very nice. That was an easy first round and some teeth. Very, very good. Okay. Well, we're going to the trapper without a lot of teeth, but that's fine. I'll be clear with ye. The trapping business been lagging. After being defeated by that challenger. Oh, that's right, I beat him. Well, I'm thinking of clearing me inventory, trying something else. Pelts are cheaper now. Alright. That one's on the house, thank you. I don't know how many I have. There's one here, I guess there's one here. Let's see if I can grab one of these. Oh, I can. Do I have any more? You more teeth for that one? Okay, I'm done. You have my gratitude. That was good, though. I got a golden pelt, and it was only, like, three. Uh, my items are full, so let's go this way. Alright. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight, though ten hungry eyes around it dampens the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire enhances health, said one. Uh, yeah. Do what you must. Pick something else. Uh, Stunt Wolf. You had an idea. 
Why not warm up your creature by the fire for just a moment longer? One of the starving survivors took a step closer. Nope, 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 nope. This would be risky. No, no, no. Give me my stunt wolf. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your stunted wolf. Yeah, get out of there, get out of there. I don't want them to take him. Fight. Alright, there's salutations. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Lucky draw. And the bullfrog. What's he got coming in? So the skunk's not really gonna do anything because it's gonna be on the other side of the tree. Um, I'm gonna play this behind here so that he can't get at it. We'll put the bullfrog opposing the sparrow because that flies. And then we'll put the stoat here to hit him. So that will get him directly, and the bullfrog will keep the sparrow from getting me. And the stunk's just gonna sit there. Um, we'll draw. Carry on. Thanks, stunt wolf. Alright. So he's got that coyote that's gonna come in, but I should be able to take that out because my stoke's got three. Um, we're gonna draw the golden pelt and then play the stunted wolf in front of the sparrow. Yeah, I'm sure. So he'll take that out. There we go. So we're all clear there. Got another pelt. That's fine. Not the most helpful. All right. Moving on. Oh, nice. We get to trade in these uh, pelts pretty quick. Sorry if you can hear the police siren outside my window. Are your pelts clean? I hope so. Air pelts. Cat. Warren, River Otter, Bat, Raven, Great White, Bullfrog, Raven, Egg. I'm assuming the Raven Egg turns into a Raven. This one gives you rabbits. This one swims. I don't really like that. These both fly. I get the cat, except um, I have infinite blood on my squirrels, so I don't really need it. Uh, I could do the shark. That could be kind of fun. Good late gameplay. Hmm. Let's let's build up the early game for no, I don't really like that. Flying. Flying's not awful, but I don't know which of these I want. Let's get the Raven Egg. Why not? Incredible. Golden pelts? Gek. Amalgam, Child 13, and Pack Rat. Well none of these are very good either. Um Let's get the amalgam. These are exquisite, my thanks. Alright, and then items, don't really need one. Your pack was full, but a small critter approached. <gasps> Hi, buddy! Hi! Thank you! A pack rat, always useful. I wish the little guy would hang out with me. Alright, now we get a boss. So his things are gonna move to block. What's he got coming? A pronghorn and a mole. Yikes, actually. So, squirrel. Um. Oof. Uh, we can play both of these things. This one here. And this one there. Oh wait, no, that was silly. That wasn't- that was not the smartest play. It's fine. Draw. Um, Malgum. Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of you and you and play- we'll just play it there. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Probably. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that was perfect, actually. Nice. Okay. Draw this. Stoat. Play the stoat in front of the mole. It's fine. There we go, because now, no more mole. Oh! Oh, we already won. Okay. Nice! Achievement unlocked Squirrel Wrangler. Also nice. Alright, so this is gonna be, I guess, a random blood cost card is what this is? 
two, three, or bones. Let's go with the two. Another raven. That's fine. And then totem. Came upon the old woodcarver who fixed her intense gaze upon you. After an overlong moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. So flying or what is this one again? Hoarder. When a card bearing the sigil is played, you may search your deck for any card and take it into your hand. Oh, that's really good. Let's take that. I do regret not taking those infinite blood cards now, though, but I think this is going to be better. The gray-haired woman silently collected her carvings and left. Okay, bye. Prospector time. Because now every time I play a squirrel, I get, like, any card I want. Raider smoke. Okay. The trees closed and tied around you, creating an impenetrable brush. The only way out was forward, and the hobbled shape of a man stood in that way. Got any gold in that there skull? Oh no. Let me crack it open and take a look. Alright. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's go ahead and... If we get the corpse maggots, anything he kills goes right- or anything he kills, I get this in its place. So let's go ahead and take this. Just immediately. And then... Raven Egg. It's the only thing I can play right now, so actually I probably should have taken something that I could play. But... it's fine. Uh, we'll block the coyote with this, because then I'll get the bones. Now we got a raven. Draw another squirrel. Uh, I won't be able to play anything this turn, so I'm not gonna put it down yet. Well, I could take care of the smoke and play the raven and the stink bug, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, right, and I get to draw. Um, Stump wolf. But, let's play... Flying to four. This has one and this has one, so either. So if I do this, I get the carryover damage. You can't play it, the Wolf of Cub. Let's do this. Oh, it only needed. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. <laughs> it's fine. We'll play that there. Um. Yeah. No, that was dumb. Uh, it's okay. Get rid of them. Get rid of them both anyway. It's fine. Uh, draw a squirrel. Still got rid of the wolf cub. No problem. There's gold in them cards. He's gonna take care of all these. That's fine. Alright, so I still have the stink bug. Mule's only got one health. And I can play the stink bug pretty immediately, so that's good. Um, and we got the amalgam, which also lets me draw any card that I want. And there's nothing else I can do right now. Get him! We'll just draw from here. Bullfrog. Okay. Uh, play this. <laughs> Take the stone. <laughs> Easy boss, just pop that mule. Dog is in the way. Um. Play the bullfrog. It's not gonna do much to the bloodhound, but I just need to play something. Squirrel. Um, Stoke could take a hit from him and live, or I could play the stink bug, because he only does two, so stink bug would still be able to take a hit. Yeah, we'll do this. 
That'll be fine. Yeah. Stink bug's good. Um, and draw another squirrel. Gotta play something to get rid of that adder. Stoke can do it. Draw the pack rat. Oop. Yeah, you, you get rid of the adder. You don't misplay. Be quiet. <laughs> Alright. And goodbye. That's fine. Alright. And now we're gonna get some cards from the mule, which is very helpful. Um, what do we get? Another squirrel, skink, magpie, coyote. My mule will curse you. Because we needed to play a coyote over here and a squirrel there for the painting puzzle, but that spot's not empty, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no point in me playing anything that's nothing's happening in this right now. So right there. Clear up another spot for me. There we go. Squirrel. Um Play the amalgam. That'll take care of the wolf. Bye, sorry. Right there. And then I can play another squirrel over here. I don't have cards. Uh, another squirrel here. And then uh, I could have put the coyote down, but I don't I don't think that card spot's gonna get cleared in time. It's fine. I'll pick up a coyote next time I see one. Um uh, I'll play the raven. Put it right there. That's a good spot. And then this should do it for us. Right? Yep. That was it. Alright. Yeah, easy boss, easy boss. Stoats, right? Reignite. I had a lot of bones. Perhaps one of these will entice you. What do we got? Child 13. Gek. Mole man. Let's take child 13 because I got rid of the, uh, the endless blood squirrels. The sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. 